back to Let's Clone. My name would be Stephen French, and uh, this is one of those times where I record something and then I, I, it just doesn't work, so I scrap it. And I'm writing all this again, and we're going to see if it still works, I guess. Uh, big thanks to Neowit, I believe it is, uh, commented on the last video with an answer to my little joystick shake. Brilliant. It's just, we just need a canvas layer, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. I was... I'm trying to go through and just see like what I had done before, what I needed to fix. I wanted to scale all this stuff down because I had scaled the sprite and the collision up by two, and I said that was bad. It's still bad, I guess, but we don't need it. So I'm just scaling that down, getting getting to wherever the hell I was. All right, so now we don't need a camera script anymore because I think that was just helping us with our little wiggles. So we can get rid of that. Uh, we'll close that one. We don't uh, need the joystick to be in the camera. This was this, this was the solution. We're just gonna get a canvas layer. Do I still have one of those? Whoa! Watch my phone. Take a canvas layer. We're gonna put the joystick in the canvas layer. Uh, we're not gonna do that. We don't need to. And that's it. The joystick doesn't. It doesn't need anything special. It just goes in the canvas layer, and then. Look, it's it's going. We're gonna we're gonna verify. Let's go to that camera. Let's, why does it still think we have a? We don't need a script. Let's go to the camera. Let's go our left at zero, our right at eighty. This is where initially the thing would drift, and then I get the way. Oh man, that's that's beautiful. Many thanks to Neil with though. It was just it was just a camera canvas layer. That's all we need. That's all we need. But the point of this video is going to be enemies. We're going to have a bunch of them. They're going to spawn. It's going to be great. We're going to scene it. New scene. Or enemy. It's basically the same thing as the player. I probably could just duplicate the player scene and do that. But I'm not going to. We're going to have our enemy. He's going to have a sprite. Uh, he's also going to have an area two-dimensional. That is going to have a collision shape two-dimensional it shall be one of them rectangular types let's look at what we got um the sprite i really gotta eventually do something about getting assets uh material no visibility modulate make this guy red uh collision shape about to call i think no <laughs> yeah kind of all right so we got the bad guy pretty much all all cut up. He doesn't have or caught up. He doesn't have a script yet. Um, we have in our game. I just want to make sure that things work. We have an enemy in the game. We're gonna put him there. What happens? All right, enemy in the game. Tiny little guy. Uh, what do we want? So we don't really want him here. We want the enemy or the the game to make this guy. So I'm looking to our game. It has a scene, because that's what I was working on before. Okay. So the the game object, we want it to know kind of a lot about the player. So we're just gonna we're just gonna set that to a node uh 2D. And then our ready. Here we will do uh get node uh player. And we're gonna make player of that. So on ready, we have access to the player. That should be fine. We are going to be mostly dealing with spawning. So we're going to make a spawn cooldown duration. Um, how long do we want to go? We're like, fucking, no, we'll, we'll, we'll be quick at first. Ten. No. <coughs> Scratch my throat. Sip some coffee, that shall. Make the spawn cooldown. This is the same type of cooldown stuff that we did for the other thing. Uh, what do I want? I need a spawn direction. That's going to be a vector too. Uh, and I guess like a no, whatever. spawn direction. We'll keep. We'll keep. We'll do everything here. With a, we'll do a direction and a distance. Um, so spawn location. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll say direction, but we're gonna spawn it like straight to the top. 
So zero, negative five from where we're going to go. So we're going to look at the player. We're going to spin around the player and we're going to spawn enemies, I guess, around the player. So that, that's kind of what I got in mind. On already, we are acknowledging that the player is a thing. I have a function for spawn enemy. Uh, we'll be doing all that there, actually. Yeah. Oh, here, we'll do this first. So in our process, I don't think we're going to be messing with delta. I don't want that little annoying message. Uh, but we're just going to iterate through our, our cooldown, I guess. Spawn cooldown minus equals 1. If spawn cooldown is less than or equal to 0, then uh, spawn cooldown is equal to spawn cooldown duration. Uh, so we're just going to keep looping on through that. If we do want to, then we're going to spawn enemy. I, I do, do believe. Alright, so here we're looping, we're hitting spawn, here we're spawning. Now I need I need an uh, I need an enemy and we're gonna do an instance of the enemy. So we will say enemy with a capital variable enemy is equal to load. And I, I like to mistype that. Load and we're gonna take in our scenes folder the enemy object. That guy we just made. So we are pretty much looking at the code that we want to make an instance of, and we will say lowercase enemy is equal to enemy dot instance. So it is an instance of that. I'm that that should work for me. Uh, let's see. We want to spawn it at a particular position. So we want enemy dot position. Um equal to where our player is player dot position plus our spawn direction which is straight above and then we would uh what is it i wanted it to be a get parent uh dot add child enemy is this, is this what I want to be happening? So let me think. Every time we loop through, we're going to start the counter back up. We're going to spawn a guy right there, and we should just create an enemy. If we're in the game world, there is no enemy, so if something pops up, we're good. It did not. Uh, uh, invalid call not exists. Instance. Instance. There's a fly in here that I'm gonna have to eventually catch. Hey, hey, we got one, and they're just spawning at a spot above the player. Perfect. Cool. So every time we spawn, we want to. Uh, do we want to like loop through a whole thing, make a whole circle of them? Yeah. Why? Why not? Let's see. Nah, 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 nah. We're just. Hmm. We create our instance of our enemy, then we are going to spawn. Direction is spawn direction dot rotated radian degrees uh, to radians because I don't really know radians well enough to play with them. And we're gonna go like every like uh, 12 degrees, why not? Um, uh, is this, I think this is correct. So we should, yeah. All right, so we're just rotating around. Cool. All right, so now we need the enemy to engage with the player, I suppose. And we need them to uh, kind of chase him down. So we're going to give it a target variable, but before we do, we're just going to assign what that will be. So like enemy dot target uh, would be equal to... Uh, I don't know if we could say player. We'll, we'll try with that, but let's get into our enemy guy. Let's give him a script. Add it to scripts. All right, so we have our enemy. He can even move just like anything else. Vector two. That there. Um, he's gonna need a target, which we just set as a node. 2D. Um, 
he will need a speed. Uh, I guess he'll need a direction, but the movement can just give me that. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So we're going to want a process. So we want move be equal to, aha, there's also what I want, variable target distance. So I don't want them to just run in and overlap. So here we're going to take our move and we're going to set it to our position minus target uh, position. Wrap those in these things. Don't do that. Come on, Steven. You got this. Stop. Normalize. So we just get the unit of one in the direction that we're trying to go for. We will say if uh, position dot distance to, I think, target dot position is less than no greater than target distance if we are further away then position plus equals move times delta times speed I think okay they're going the other way uh, take target position minus position. Hey, hey, now we're walking towards. And they're going to get up to a point and they're going to stop walking. Cool. And they keep chasing. We've got to eventually make them not bump into each other. Um, so we're probably not needing the ready, but it's there, so we're going to keep it. We're going to add a function for hitting. Uh, but for now, we're just going to queue free if he gets hit. So we're going to say that if we get too close, just because just it's easy, then uh, we'll hit. So now we should just be able to walk into him and kill them. Nice. Oh, nice. All right, not against it. Not against it. Uh, yeah, they just, this is, that's satisfying. It's kind of fun. All right, so we've got enemies. We've got a joystick that's no longer fucking around. We need to eventually be able to shoot the enemies and do things like that, but I think we're spawning them. I, I think that's good enough for right now, and I will learn about whatever the next mistakes I'm gonna make are. Sounds good to me.